it means it would be three o'clock in the morning before you got the car back. That's true. Huh? Yeah, that every happened, night, that three o'clock. Um, I guess that did happen quite frequently. Huh? And because mm -hmm. we, we, you know, there's a lot of great places to stay at. We were playing. We stayed in a magnificent place, but it still was. Um, it was 17 miles away in good weather, mm -hmm. and in bad weather, and they are mountain roads you know, like that. You slow down because that was one of the recommendations. That don't drive more than 30 miles an hour. And you'd be all right. The problem is people were driving at 60, 70 miles an hour. I saw more cars that were off the road. I mean, if we come back, we found we shot, a semi was off the road. We got pictures of a semi off the road. But um, you got to stay close. I mean, I would never drive well, see, again. That's one of the things people have told me that you got to stay in town. I'm like, yeah, that would be great. It's like, but for us, it's like. We didn't look that far. We knew it's better to stay in town, but here was the thing is, if it was a choice of we either stay out of town or don't go. Yeah, so we stayed out of town and we know, we learned a lesson. And given the choice of you can either go and stay out of town or not go, we'd probably do the same thing. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, you know, like the, sort of the final thing, if you want to stay, book early. Yeah. Really book early because, I mean, one of the people that was staying with us was um, a buyer. He'd always stayed closer to town, but he didn't. Uh, he found out that the booking started earlier this year than previous, so he ended up staying with us. And when somebody on Snowmageddon that didn't happen, you know, decided to leave early, they told him, "Well, we can move you over." And because he's a longtime customer of the chain, well, we can just transfer you over. So they sent uh, one of their cars over, moved him mm -hmm. over, because he said, "I'm too darn old to do this." So, but uh, he was in yeah. Buffalo, New York, where the weather. Well, the weather is bad in Buffalo. He just didn't like, you know, well, because <laughs> he's driving in Buffalo, and other people are driving him there, and I think being the, being in the back seat was somewhat scary to a person that's used to being taking his own control of everything. But no, but we'll we'll go back. We just make changes. Which means we got to at least six months in advance. You got to book a room. Mm -hmm. And because we have to have everything spread out everywhere, we need you got to have a place that doesn't have anybody with it. Mm -hmm. Which you find out that they actually mm -hmm. do rent the other parts of places out. So you got to rent, you have to rent a whole house to yourself. Well, that's part of it because there was a lot of times people said, "Oh, booked early, have a room available," and it's like you get to share. You can sleep on the floor for fifty dollars a night. Yeah, right. Which, uh, room available? Mm -hmm. No, you need the whole place available not a room available. That's the best way to go. Because well, because our setup is a little bit different because we're not just getting there. We're setting up an office there. Which we did. We did have it. We, we had really had a guy off a huge place, multiple rooms. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we could cook, you know, have a big refrigerator and a microwave. But I don't know. It was a unique experience. We, we learned something because in, all, in reality, we've never been to the Cannes Film Festival before. This was kind of our learning for cons. Yeah, we basically mm -hmm. had to find out what it was like to go to a major, major, okay, Los Angeles Film Festival is, is decent, but this, uh, this it's basically same old same. You, you see the same people, but she sees the same people continually. Mm -hmm. So, and she already knows, she, you know, she gets movie advice, she gets this, that. And so it's just like you were mm -hmm. doing a normal week in Los Angeles with the LA Film Festival, but Sundance is different and Cannes is going to be, you know, you prepare yourself for Cannes by Sundance. Actually, that was our preparation. Yeah. Because we're used to, like, major events. We know Vegas because we've done so many different events in Vegas. And we, we know, know San Francisco, San you know, Diego. Right, so you know how to get around, how to navigate, um, where it doesn't cost you that much. Yeah. I mean, uh, this was a totally different animal for us. Yeah, and the, the best tip that we can have of going to a major film festival like Sundance, or say you want to go to Berlin, Cannes, the Venice Film Festival is go early mm -hmm. to find out where the hell everything's at. Because the maps all suck. They suck. Well, that doesn't look like it's that far. It was you know? Well, mm -hmm. that's that isn't where it's supposed to be. We did not find any maps that were really accurate. You know? Well, this is supposed to be here. Well, yeah, but it's really over there. Mm -hmm. And he said, but over there is not here. Well, it mm -hmm. is. You know, the way they do things. So. <laughs> no, we did not find any maps. I mean, we have so many maps, and none of them were accurate. And, and the more you can prepare before you go, the better off you are. Yeah, and bring more clothes than you think you're going to need. 
Well, because even though it's like um, text messaging was the best way to get around, because even though with access to email, everybody's not getting their emails, or um, it's, just, it's just not the same as looking at it on okay. the Okay, I mean, we're going to make any difference. But we are going to try to explain. We're not pushing tablets, but you know, the tablets would really be coming handy at that time. And and you've got a problem with battery life. They said take something that really has a good battery with it and doesn't weigh on. That was the best thing, although my little tablet, I swear, it got heavier. Well, yeah, it did. And it is uh, but the same thing with... It's a 10-inch. Um, 10-inch. But we are looking at, um, what is it, a pen? Uh, a 7-inch. We're looking at a 7-inch right now, which we're trying to pick up. And uh, because it, this thing, when you, um, um, okay, like, the... It, Sundance is yeah, walking, walking, and walking. Cans is spread out all over the place. They're going to be walking and walking and walking. But you know, it was our, it was our breaking in. I mean, I've been to film festivals, but I've never been to film festivals. You know, on I've been to small, you know, small things. I've never really been. I've been to Cannes, but that's not a film festival. That's so funny. Why would you go to Cannes, mm -hmm. not the festival? Because the Marster Set, Marster Film is not the Cannes Film Festival. I was on the opposite side, which means I never actually saw cans. I saw the places where, you know, the people were doing the previews of the movies, which they want you to come into. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically it's called, hey press, we want you. Cons is, uh, Sundance is a sort of a different situation. They have press, but they don't have press. Well, ha part of it is, is the venues are so small. They, they, there's one theater that's large, it fits about 1,200, but I looked at the, the other theaters, are like, they're like not three, enough room 300 to put the people, in. 350 people, and if a film brings, we were looking, they, they have this um, audience, right? The audience yeah. gets to vote, right? Yeah. And they get to vote on whether they like the movie or not, and which gives them an award. So if you've got a film that has 75 people that came, yeah. you want to buy your tickets, you go to all of those ahead of time, so you've got 75 seats locked up, Yeah. right? And they get them. And if you only have 350 seats. And they're all at the head of a line, you know, and it, 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 it really is a brilliant PR thing because you figure, oh, you figure $200,000 to move everybody, a large mm -hmm. group of people into the things with premier tickets, mm -hmm. which means they sit at the head of the line no matter what. They can always, you know, cheer and hoot and howl for their own movie. Mm -hmm. But it means the other people, wait, I mean, I mean... And it's just because the venues are small. Because if the theater only has 300 tickets, you have 75 from the movie that's there. That means there's only 225 tickets left. And of that, mm -hmm. there are X amount of people that went from the, from the, you know, have to come no matter what because they're, they're special guests. Mm -hmm. Then there is the uh, people that have the, uh, the patrons tickets. Mm -hmm. So as you start getting you back up, there starts to be less and less room in a small theater. Also, mm -hmm. I guess in conclusion, one other thing, it's just my advice, you gotta have something for the people to do mm -hmm. that aren't coming there to see the movies or go listen to King and stuff, because one out of every two people is not there. They're basically, yeah. husbands are with wives, wives are with husbands. And a lot of the events that I went to are invitation only. Yeah. So unless you have an invitation, crashing some of those things are a little bit difficult to do. Well, Some of those lists were pretty tight. Because you end up like me, you're totally out of place <laughs> in the place. And I mean, I can only walk up and down hillsides for so many. So and we many also times. did learn something else: is don't let every. Here's the oxymoron: is don't let everybody know where you're going, mm -hmm. <laughs> because they somebody can, else may use your name to get, to get in, that's and right. then you don't get to go in. That's right. And uh, second, <laughs> if you have a schedule of things, try to stay as much as you can to that schedule, because what happens is you get pulled off of it. And it's very hard to ever get back on it. So mm -hmm. I guess so. This is, you know, our, you know, this is this, ver you know, this is our overview of the whole thing. You're going to hear wrap ups because she actually was attending thing. I wasn't. I was basically doing the bookkeeping work. You know, driving, bookkeeping, talking to people. I talked to. She's talking to people at at the at, in Park City Historical. I'm talking to people mm -hmm. that weren't in historical. There's a difference. So, mm -hmm. people that basically were unhappy that didn't get in after driving a million miles. I would people that it. thinks that it's not what it was, and then other people that were basically dancing on the tops of tables because they were happy about what was going on. Well, I just spent six months of my life working, and mm -hmm. uh, somebody like Fox Searchlight or Sony and Weinstein's were coming to the building wanting to talk to you. That's a big deal. Yeah.
That's a really big yeah, deal. Yeah, I mean, like I was telling one of the guys, he said, well, this guy knows me. And he said, ah, I know that person. Thank you. And he goes, that's how they go. Yeah. yeah, that's a big deal. They come to speak to them. They come to speak to them, which was a major accomplishment. That's a major so, big deal. But I guess so. But until. You know, right, you know, we gotta, we're gonna have rocks. Well, actually, stay tuned to the vlogs. Yeah, see the vlogs. Watch, watch the vlogs because then you'll know what happened on a daily basis. Which is sort of the ups, the downs, the yeah, the everything which is around. a lot of things. She's got a lot of information that's going to. You know, the vlogs are very important. So, but uh, until next time, this is Low County. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net or www. Dot MBN News Video Web Web dot com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. <laughs>